Imagine for a moment that you are standing at the base of a towering mountain. The peak is obscured by clouds and the path ahead seems daunting. But here's the truth, my friends. That mountain is your life and the journey to the top is the greatest adventure you all ever undertake. The question is, are you ready to climb? Every single day, you have a choice. You can stay at the bottom, comfortable in the knowledge that you are safe, or you can take that first step up the mountain. And let me tell you that first step, it is all about discipline. Discipline is not some external force that controls you. It is not your parents telling you to clean your room or your boss setting deadlines. No true discipline comes from within. It is the voice inside you that says, get up, keep going. You have got this. And when you listen to that voice, when you honor it and act on it, that is when the magic happens. I know what some of you are thinking. Wayne, discipline sounds hard. It sounds boring. Where is the fun in that? And to you, I say this. Discipline is the key that unlocks every door to success and fulfillment in your life. It is not the enemy of freedom. It is the path to it. Think about it. The athlete who breaks records, they did not get there by sleeping in and eating junk food. The artist who creates breathtaking masterpieces, they did not achieve that by waiting for inspiration to strike. The entrepreneur who builds an empire, they did not do it by procrastinating and making excuses. No, these individuals all share one common track. They discipline themselves every single day. Like here's the beautiful part. Discipline is not about punishment. It is about love. It is about loving yourself enough to do what's best for you even when it is not easy. It is about respecting your dreams and ambitions enough to put in the work day after day to make them a reality. I want you to close your eyes for a moment. Visualize the person you want to be. See yourself standing tall, confident, accomplished. Feel the sense of pride and fulfillment coursing through your veins. That person? That is the real you. That is who you are at your core. And the only thing standing between you and that version of yourself is discipline. But here is the catch. Discipline is not something you achieve once and then forget about. It is not a destination. It is a daily practice. It is a muscle that you need to exercise every single day. And just like building physical muscles, it might be uncomfortable at first. You might feel sore. You might want to quit. But if you push through that initial discomfort, you all find that discipline becomes easier. It becomes a habit. It becomes a part of who you are. How do we cultivate this discipline? How do we make it a part of our daily lives? Well, it starts with small steps. You do not climb a mountain in one giant leap. You do it one step at a time, one day at a time. Start with your mornings. How you begin your day sets the tone for everything that follows. Are you hitting the snooze button five times, dragging yourself out of bed at the last possible moment? Or are you rising with purpose, ready to seize the day? The choice is yours, and it is a choice you make every single morning. Try this as set your alarm 30 minutes earlier than usual. When it goes off, did not think. Do not rationalize. Do not negotiate with yourself. Just get up. Put your feet on the floor and stand up. Congratulations. You have just won the first battle of the day. You have exercise discipline. What do you do with that extra 30 minutes? That is up to you. Maybe you meditate. Maybe you exercise. Maybe you read something inspirational. Maybe you work on that project you have been putting off. The specifics do not matter as much as the act itself. What matters is that you are taking control of your life one morning at a time. But discipline is not just about mornings. It is about the choices you make throughout the day. It is about saying no to distractions and yes to focus. It is about choosing the apple over the candy bar, the book over the TV show, the work over the procrastination. Every time you make one of these choices, you are flexing your discipline muscle. You are telling yourself, I am in control. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. And let me tell you, there is no more empowering feeling in the world. I can already hear some of you saying, but Wayne, I have tried to be disciplined before. I have made resolutions and broken them. I have started strong and then fizzled out. How is this time going to be any different? And to you, I say this, the past does not equal the future. Just because you have struggled with discipline before does not mean you are destined to struggle forever. Every moment is a new opportunity to make a different choice. Every day is a chance to rewrite your story. The key is to stop thinking of discipline as an all or nothing proposition. You do not have to transform your entire life overnight. You do not have to be perfect. You just have to be better than you were yesterday. Progress, not perfection, is the goal. Instead of trying to overhaul your entire life at once, focus on one area. Maybe it is your health. Maybe it is your career. Maybe it is your relationships. Choose one area 
and commit to exercising discipline in that area every day for the next 30 days. Say you choose health. Your daily discipline might be to exercise for 30 minutes. Now, here is the important part. Do not break the chain, no matter what happens, no matter how you feel. Do those 30 minutes of exercise every single day. Rain or shine, busy or free, happy or sad, do the work. At first, it might feel like a chore. You might have to drag yourself to do it. But as the days go by, something magical will happen. It will start to feel normal. It will start to feel necessary. And before you know it, it will become a part of who you are. That is the power of discipline. It does not just change what you do. It changes who you are. It reshapes your identity. And when your identity changes, your life changes. But is the thing about discipline. It is not just about the big obvious things. It is also about the small, seemingly insignificant choices we make every day. It is about making your bed in the morning. It is about keeping your promises, even when they are just to yourself. It is about doing what you say you're gonna do when you say you are going to do it. These small acts of discipline might seem trivial, but they add up. They create momentum. They build self-trust. Every time you follow through on a commitment, no matter how small, you are telling yourself, I am a person who does what they say they're going to do. And over time, that becomes your reality. I want to address something important. Some of you might be thinking, Wayne, all this talk of discipline sounds an awful lot like self-control. And I have heard that willpower is a limited resource. Won't I run out of discipline if I use it too much? This is a common misconception, and I'm glad you brought it up. Yes, willpower can be depleted in the short term, but discipline, discipline is different. Discipline is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. And the stronger it gets, the more you can use it. When you first start exercising, you might only be able to do a few push-ups before your arms give out. But if you keep at it day after day, what happens? Your muscles get stronger. You can do more push-ups. The exercise becomes easier. Discipline works the same way. The more you practice it, the easier it becomes. The choices that once felt like a struggle become automatic. The habits that once required constant effort become second nature. As your discipline grows stronger in one area of your life, it spills over into other. The discipline you develop in your exercise routine starts to influence your eating habits. The discipline you cultivate in your work life begins to impact your personal relationships. Before you know it, you are not just changing one aspect of your life. You are transforming your entire existence. I want to be clear about something. Discipline is not about being rigid or inflexible. It is not about denying yourself joy or pleasure. In fact, it is quite the opposite. True discipline is about aligning your actions with your deepest values and aspirations. It is about doing what matters most to you, consistently and purposefully. Think about the things you really want in life. Maybe it is a fulfilling career. Maybe it is a loving relationship. Maybe it is vibrant health or financial freedom. Whatever it is, I can guarantee you one thing. Discipline is the bridge between where you are now and where you want it. But here's the cax. Um, that bridge is not built in a day. It is built one plank at a time, one day at a time, and each plank is an act of discipline. Each plank is a choice to do what's right over what's easy, what's important over what's urgent, what's meaningful over what's momentarily pleasurable. I know some of you are probably thinking, Wayne, this all sounds great in theory, but what about when life gets in the way? What about when unexpected challenges arise? How can I maintain discipline then? And to you, I say this, our discipline is not about controlling external circumstances. It is about controlling your response to those circumstances. It is about maintaining your commitment to your goals and values, even when, especially when life throws you a curveball. In fact, it is during these challenging times that discipline becomes most crucial. It is easy to stay disciplined when everything is going smoothly. The real test comes when you face obstacles, setbacks, and distractions. That is when your discipline muscle really gets a workout. But here's the beautiful thing. Every challenge is an opportunity. Every obstacle is a chance to grow stronger, to reinforce your commitment, to prove to yourself what you are capable of. When you maintain your discipline in the face of adversity, you are not just accomplishing a task. You are building character. Remember this, the way you do anything is the way you do everything. The discipline you exercise in one area of your life will inevitably influence every other area. The person who has the discipline to stick to a workout routine, even when they do not feel like it is the same person who will have the discipline to persevere in their career when faced with challenges. The individual who has the discipline to keep their commitments to others is the same individual who will have the discipline 
to keep their commitments to themselves. So it often gets overlooked when we discuss discipline. Self-compassion. Some people mistakenly believe that discipline means being hard on yourself, punishing yourself for every slip up or mistake. Nothing could be further from the truth. True discipline comes from a place of self-love and self-respect. It is about treating yourself with kindness and understanding, even as you hold yourself to high standards. It is about acknowledging that you are human, that you all make mistakes, and that is okay. What matters is that you keep going, that you get back up when you fall, that you recommit to your path every single day. This self-compassion is crucial because discipline is not a destination. It is a journey. It is not about achieving perfection. It is about consistent progress. There will be days when you fall short of your goals. There will be times when you slip back into old habits. And that is okay. What matters is what you do next. Do you use that slip up as an excuse to give up entirely? Or do you view it as a learning opportunity, a chance to recommit to your goals with even greater determination? The choice is yours, and it is a choice you make every single day. Remember, every moment is a new beginning. Every breath is a chance to start again. Your past does not define you. Your choices in this moment do. So if you have struggled with discipline in the past, let it go. If you have fallen short of your goals, forgive yourself. Today is a new day, and right now is a perfect moment to recommit to your discipline practice. I want to share something powerful with you. Discipline is not just about what you do. It is also about what you think. Your thoughts shape your reality. They influence your emotions, your actions, and ultimately, your results. So part of cultivating discipline is disciplining your mind. This means being mindful of your self-talk. Are you constantly criticizing yourself? Are you focusing on what you lack rather than what you have? Are you telling yourself that discipline is hard, that you cannot do it, that you are not strong enough? If so, it is time to change that narrative. Start speaking to yourself with kindness and encouragement. Remind yourself of your strengths, your past successes, your innate capabilities. Tell yourself, I am disciplined, I am capable, I am strong. Even if you do not fully believe it at first, keep saying it. Your subconscious mind is always listening, and over time, these positive affirmations will shape your beliefs and, consequently, your actions. But disciplining your mind is not just about positive self-talk. It is also about focus. In today's world, we are constantly bombarded with distractions, social media, emails, notifications. They all compete for our attention. And each time we give in to these distractions, we are exercising our distraction muscle instead of our discipline muscle. So part of your daily discipline practice should be about managing your focus. This might mean setting specific times for checking emails or social media. It might mean turning off notifications on your phone. It might mean creating a dedicated workspace free from distractions. Whatever it looks like for you, the key is to take control of your attention rather than letting external forces control it. Consistency. Consistency is where the real power of discipline lies. It is not about making heroic efforts once in a while. Is about showing up day after day, even when you do not feel like it, even when you cannot see immediate results. Think about water dripping on a rock. One drop does not make much of a difference, but drop after drop, day after day, year after year, that water can carve through solid stone. That is the power of consistency. That is the power of discipline. So do not worry about making massive changes overnight. Focus on small, consistent actions. If you want to write a book, do not try to write 50 pages in one day. Instead, commit to writing one page every day. If you want to get in shape, do not try to run a marathon right away. Start with a 10-minute walk each day. These small actions might not seem like much in the moment, but compounded over time, they lead to massive results. Remember, success is not about intensity. It is about consistency. It is not about how much you can do in a day. It is about what you can do day after day after day. That is where discipline truly shines. I want to address something important. Some of you might be wondering, Wayne, is not all this talk of discipline and consistency going to take the spontaneity and joy out of life? Do not we need some freedom and flexibility? And to you, I say this. Discipline is not the enemy of freedom. It is the pathway to it. True freedom comes from knowing that you have the power to shape your life, to make choices that align with your values, to pursue your dreams with unwavering commitment. And that power, it comes from discipline. Think about it. The person who has the discipline to manage their time effectively has more free time to enjoy life. The individual who has the discipline to manage their finances has more freedom to make choices about how they spend their money. The one who has the discipline to maintain their health has more freedom to engage in activities they enjoy. Discipline does not constrain you. 
it liberates you. It gives you the freedom to live life on your terms, to create the reality you desire, to become the person you are meant to be. But here is the thing, it is not a solo journey. Yes, it starts with you, but it does not end there. We are social creatures influenced by the people around us. So if you want to cultivate discipline in your life, surround yourself with disciplined people. Seek out mentors and role models who embody the qualities you want to develop. Join communities of like-minded individuals who are committed to personal growth and self-improvement. These connections serve multiple purposes. They provide inspiration, showing you what's possible when you commit to a disciplined life. They offer support, encouraging you when you face challenges and cheering you on when you succeed. And they create accountability, giving you an extra incentive to stay true to your commitments. Remember, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So choose wisely. Surround yourself with individuals who inspire you to be your best self, who challenge you to grow, who support your journey of self-discipline. As we near the end of our time together, I want to leave you with this thought. A discipline is not just a personal virtue. It is a gift you give to the world. When you discipline yourself to be your best self, to live up to your potential, to pursue your dreams with unwavering commitment, you inspire others to do the same. You become a living example of what's possible when someone commits to a disciplined life. Your actions speak louder than words, and they have the power to motivate and inspire those around you. Think about the ripple effect of your discipline. When you consistently show up as your best self, you elevate those around you. Your colleagues become more productive. Your friends become more motivated. Your family members start to adopt healthier habits. Without saying a word, your discipline becomes a catalyst for positive change in your community. But it goes even further than that. In a world that often prioritizes instant gratification and quick fixes, your commitment to discipline stands as a beacon of hope. It shows that with consistent effort and unwavering dedication, anything is possible. You become living proof that dreams can be achieved, that goals can be reached, that lives can be transformed. And the more you discipline yourself, the more freedom you create, not just for yourself, but for others. Your discipline creates opportunities. It opens doors. It paves the way for innovation and progress. In disciplining yourself, you are contributing to the betterment of society as a whole. I challenge you, embrace discipline, not just as a personal tool for success, but as a way to make a positive impact on the world. See it as your responsibility, your duty, your gift to humanity. Because when you discipline yourself, you are not just changing your life. You are changing the world one day at a time. The relationship between discipline and purpose. Discipline without purpose is like a ship without a destination. It might be moving, but it is not really going anywhere. Your discipline needs to be anchored in a deep sense of purpose, a clear understanding of why you are doing what you are doing. What's your why? What's the bigger purpose that drives your discipline? Is it to provide a better life for your family? To make a significant contribution to your field? To leave the world a better place than you found it? Whatever it is, make sure it is something that resonates deeply with you. Something that gets you out of bed in the morning and keeps you going when times get tough. When you align your discipline with your purpose, something magical happens. The hard work becomes meaningful. The sacrifices become worth it. The challenges become opportunities for growth. Your discipline is no longer just about you. It is about something bigger than yourself. The stronger your why, the easier the how becomes. When you are deeply connected to your purpose, discipline does not feel like a chore. It feels like a privilege. It feels like an honor to put in the work, to make the sacrifices, to stay committed to your path. Take some time to reflect on your purpose. Write it down. Visualize it. Feel it in your bones. And then let that purpose fuel your discipline. Let it be the fire that keeps you going when the going gets tough. I want to address something that many people struggle with. The fear of failure. Often, what holds us back from embracing discipline is not laziness or lack of motivation. It is fear. Fear that we'll put in all this effort and still fall short. Fear that we'll disappoint ourselves or others. Fear that we are not good enough, smart enough, or talented enough to achieve our goals. But here is the truth. It's not the opposite of discipline. It is a part of it. Every successful person you admire, every great achievement in history was preceded by countless failures. The difference is that disciplined individuals do not let failure stop. They see it as feedback, as a learning opportunity, as a necessary step on the path to success. I want you to reframe your relationship with failure. Instead of fearing it, welcome it. Instead of avoiding it, embrace it. See each failure as a sign that you are pushing your boundaries, that you are growing, 
that you are one step closer to your goals. Remember, discipline is not about being perfect. It is about being persistent. It is about getting back up every time you fall. It is about learning from your mistakes and using those lessons to fuel your progress. In fact, I would argue that how you handle failure is the ultimate test of your discipline. Anyone can stay disciplined when things are going well. The real challenge and the real opportunity for growth comes when you face setbacks and disappointments. The next time you fail, do not beat yourself up. Do not use it as an excuse to give up on your goals. Instead, take a deep breath, remind yourself of your purpose and ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I use this experience to become stronger, wiser, more disciplined? The role of habits and discipline. You see, discipline is not about constantly forcing yourself to do things you do not want to do. That is not sustainable. True discipline is about creating habits that align with your goals and values so that doing the right thing becomes automatic. I think about have to force yourself to brush your teeth every morning. You just do it because it is a habit. That is the power of habit. It takes the willpower out of the equation. And that is what we want to achieve with discipline. How do you create these habits? It starts with small, consistent action. Remember, you do not have to overhaul your entire life overnight. Start with one small habit that will move you closer to your goals. Maybe it is reading for 15 minutes every night before bed. Maybe it is drinking a glass of water first thing in the morning. Maybe it is spending five minutes planning your day. Whatever it is, commit to doing it every single day for the next 30 days. Put it in your calendar, set reminders, do whatever it takes to make sure you follow through. At first, it might feel like a chore, but stick with it. Because here is the magic. After about 21 days, it will start to feel natural. After 30 days, it will start to feel necessary. And before you know it, you all have created a new habit that supports your goals and values. Once you have mastered one habit, you can start working on another and another and another. Over time, you all build a network of habits that all work together to support your disciplined lifestyle. Remember, discipline is not about radical change. It is about consistent incremental improvement. It is about making small, positive choices day after day, week after week, year after year. And those small choices, they add up to big results. I want to talk about something that is often overlooked when we discuss discipline, rest and recovery. You see, discipline is not about pushing yourself to the brink of exhaustion every single day. It is about understanding the rhythm of productivity and rest, of effort and recovery. Just like an athlete needs rest days to allow their muscles to recover and grow stronger, you need periods of rest and relaxation to recharge your mental and emotional batteries. This is not laziness. It is an essential part of a disciplined life. Build rest into your routine. Make time for activities that rejuvenate you, whether that is reading a book, taking a walk in nature, practicing meditation, or spending time with loved ones. See these activities not as a break from your discipline, but as an integral part of it. Remember, the goal of discipline is not to become a robot, mechanically going through the motions of productivity. The goal is to become the best version of yourself. And that includes being well-rested, balanced, and emotionally fulfilled. In fact, I would argue that learning to rest effectively is itself an act of discipline. In our always-on hustle culture world, it can take real discipline to unplug, to slow down, to give yourself permission to relax. But it is essential if you want to sustain your discipline in the long run. As you cultivate your discipline, do not forget to cultivate your ability to rest and recover. It is not a detour from your path of discipline. It is an essential part of the journey. As we come to the end of our time together, I want to leave you with this final thought. Discipline is not just a practice. It is a way of life. It is a commitment to continuous growth, to constant improvement, to becoming the best version of yourself. But here's the beautiful thing. You don't have to wait to reap the rewards of discipline. Yes, discipline will help you achieve your long-term goals, but it also provides immediate benefits, the sense of pride you feel when you follow through on a commitment, the boost of confidence you get when you overcome a challenge, the peace of mind that comes from knowing you are on the right path. These are the daily dividends of discipline and they're available to you right now in this very moment. All you have to do is make the choice, the choice to embrace discipline, to commit to your goals, to believe in yourself and your ability to create the life you desire. What choice will you make today? Will you stay where you are, comfortable but unfulfilled? Or will you take that first step up the mountain, embracing the challenge, the growth, the adventure that awaits? The choice is yours, and I believe in you. I believe in your ability to discipline yourself to overcome obstacles, to achieve your dreams. 
because the truth is you are capable of so much more than you realize. You have untapped potential within you, just waiting to be unleashed through the power of discipline. Go forth. Embrace discipline. Make it a part of who you are and watch as it transforms not just your life, but the lives of those around you. Because when you discipline yourself every day, you do not just change your life. You change the world. You must discipline yourself every day. Not just when it is convenient, not just when you feel like it, but every single day. Because every day is an opportunity. Every day is a chance to grow stronger, to get better, to move one step closer to your goals. Start today. Start now. Take that first step. Make that first choice. Commit to your discipline and never, ever give up. Because the world is waiting for the gift that only you can give, the gift of your highest, most disciplined self.